Hi everyone, it's me again and today I thought that since all of my dorm mates are out of the apartment I would film something that a lot of you guys have been requesting the SNU dorm room tour SNU has three different types of dorms and I am living in the 919 buildings which are the ones where you share an apartment with five other girls so six girls in total with three bedrooms so two girls to each room and then we share a common living space bathroom, balcony, etc. I don't think there's any other information that needs to preface this video, so without further ado, let's go! <laughs> Alright guys, so I'm going to start you on the outside of our apartment. We have the lift over there and our door over here. I'm not going to show you which room I'm staying in just because I'm still staying here, but here we have our door lock. Uh, so you basically put your hand in front of it to light it up and then press that to show the numbers and then I'm going to enter my passcode to let you guys in. <laughs> All right, welcome inside. So what you see over here is basically all of our shoes. There is me, hi. <laughs> and over here we can see our shoe cabinet. So if we open it, you can see that there's <laughs> a lot of shelves for all of our shoes. Girls do tend to have a lot of shoes. Oh, there's also a mirror here, which I have never had the opportunity of using because I never remember of its existence. But if we close that, we have more storage over here. We just keep our umbrellas inside. And then also some up there. And more up there. So as you can see, we have quite a lot of storage. Now I'm going to take you inside. So over here we have the common living space. We have a whiteboard and a clock there. On the whiteboard we just have our cleaning schedules so everyone knows when it's their turn to clean the apartment. <laughs> and we have a big common table as well as a couch over there. And there's one, two, three, four, five, six cabinets for extra storage. Each person has their own storage cabinet and over here is mine so if we open it we can see that <laughs> I have some extra clothes up there um, as well as this towel that I use just to dry the dishes uh, a blazer here and then I have my general homewares food supplies I, you can see I have a kilogram of peanut butter here some tea chopping board um, and then utensils coffee etc I have my college jacket down there it's a bit too warm to wear it now as well as a family size pack of chocolate pie down here I have some leftover sweet potatoes which I definitely need to eat soon if we close this cabinet and turn over here you can see that we have some closed drying racks we have three closed drying racks which we generally share amongst us six girls as well as a fridge over here which we generally just store with whatever we want to eat I usually just use that upper level so I have some bananas apples water bread and orange juice <laughs> and also extra milk here and I usually store more fruit down there but I just ran out going around this way you can see our balcony which I love the view of over here you can see um, pretty much all of Seoul and when the weather is nice you can see Namsan Tower in the background over there. We also have a laundry machine over here, which we definitely make good use of. I'm really glad that we have a laundry machine inside our apartment actually, because I think it would kill me if I had to run downstairs every time we needed to do the laundry. So definitely make good use of that. <laughs> okay, now we're going to leave the balcony and walk through this corridor you can see that we have more storage over there some toilet paper cleaning supplies in these two cupboards we've assigned ourselves our own shelves so down here i usually just keep um, my hair supplies so a whole lot of shampoo and conditioner um, my dry shampoo which i'm running out of so sad as well as my hair oils and a hair dryer all right guys, now all of that is done. It's time for the part that I know all of you guys are looking forward to. Let's go into my room. <laughs> so if we walk to the end of the corridor, my room is on this side. We do have a door lock, but we don't really use it. So you can just enter straight away and welcome to my room. 
let's take a look around shall we this is the view as you walk in as you can see we have a beautiful view outside not only can we see Namsan Tower from our balcony we can also see it from our bedroom it's absolutely beautiful even though you can't see it right now but it's usually generally somewhere up there <laughs> it's actually sunset right now so the lighting over there is just <sighs> amazing not sure if you can see it on camera but it's creating this beautiful orangish purple haze across the city which I absolutely adore ah all right that's enough ooing and eyeing over the view even though it is really pretty and now I'm going to show you around my room hmm so where to start first all right let's start with the wardrobe first um, so the wardrobe is right behind the door and over here you can see I have two bags hanging one is filled with impulse purchases and the other was sent to me by a brand that asked me if I wanted to shoot some of their products for Instagram and of course I said yes <laughs> if we open the wardrobe you can see that we have quite a lot of storage <laughs> so on the left side is the mirror Ta -da! there's me I generally use this mirror to do my makeup it's a bit tiring because I have to keep running between my desk and here uh, but it does force me to stand up and since I've been eating a whole lot of food in Korea I thought that that could be a good thing <laughs> so down here we have a line of hooks I don't understand what this is for and I asked my roommate and she didn't know either but we've just left that there I just use it to hang my hair wrap and then over here we can see that we have my clothes I have a whole lot of blouses just because I think they're really simple and classic uh, and you can obviously tell what colors I've been favoring these days <laughs> down here I just keep my denim uh, there's a towel back there and on the lower shelf we have accessories down there my Doc Martens which I'm yet to wear some extra unworn shoes and then I just keep my skirts and bottoms down there white tees in here and some extra knits and more blouses up here as well as storage for my socks and undies etc that's the wardrobe done now we'll move on to here which is my bed i like my room to look clean and bright so i just chose some really simple white bed sheets i purchased them all from ikea so if any of you guys are also planning on moving into dorms i would highly recommend ikea because it is super cheap and also a very fun day trip <laughs> So above the bed, I just have some bags and hats hanging on the wall. I know it looks like a bag and hat shop, but I swear it's not. <laughs> I just have some summer bags over there since it is summer right now. My go-to sun hat as well as some more hats over there hanging next to my bed. I just have my two most used bags here. So I got this really nice canvas tote while I was in Busan. I love it so much. The quality is really good. It holds heaps of things and it doesn't hurt when you're wearing it. So love this. This bag I got a while ago from a PR company. This was just from one of the brands that we represented. So next to my bed and my desk I have my suitcase because your girl loves to travel and I'm always taking weekend trips out of Seoul. So always gotta have this handy. <laughs> I feel like I'm packing my suitcase every single week. Definitely put this to good use. Moving on to my desk, which I feel like is the messiest part of my room, always. We have my chair here. I just put a faux fur rug over it just because I think it looks prettier. And it's also white and brightens up my room. My rubbish bin, which I'm just using this Chop Chops bucket because I thought it was a really good size for a bin. <laughs> and I have a whole lot of receipts in there. Um, I have another bag over here. Extra water bottles when I need to go fill up on water. And my desk my laptop is basically always out but if we close it we can see that on this side i just have some notebooks and papers from class my phone um over here in this really messy corner i have a power board where i've attached all of my charges so this is for my macbook my power bank my dslr vlogging camera and iphone charger i have this huge leaf that I just like to keep in my room because it brings a little nature and greenery into the room so I really like this my mug because I always need to drink water I drew up my timetable and I stuck it on the wall because I kept forgetting what my classes were and over here I just have some more water most of my makeup down there my Wi-Fi modem which I've hidden underneath because there's just too many cables everywhere 
I have this watch that a company sent to me for Instagram photos as well, some candy, um, this cup that I usually keep tea or coffee in, my books over here, and then up here I just generally keep skincare, perfumes, and on this level, this is the most important level, I keep my camera equipment there. So this is my DSLR which I use for Instagram photos, and then when I'm not using my vlogging camera, I keep it over here as well. Uh, and then just have some tripods, extra lenses, etc. And my hard drive here, which I cannot live without because I keep running out of storage on my laptop. On the highest level is just for extra things, so I'm keeping a handbag there that I don't really use. And I also keep my GoPro there, but I don't really use it that often, so it's just inside its box. There's extra storage underneath as well, so I keep some extra papers there, my umbrella, curling iron. There's also four drawers. On the first one, I just keep some stationery, um, medicine, etc. And then in the other three, it's just full of knickknacks. It's really messy here, I don't know what's happening. And then in the last drawer, I have some vitamins and travel size items for traveling. Alright guys, that's all of my bedroom and now I'm going to take you inside the bathroom. So as you head in, you can see we have this huge mirror. <laughs> just keep our makeup removers, soaps, toothbrushes and toothpaste down here. We have two huge sinks. This one uh, I know some of my doormates wash their hair with in the morning. And then we have some more storage cabinets in here. I just keep my stuff up there. More storage behind this mirror. Over to this side, we just keep our shower caddies, etc. And there's a drying rack over here. Some more hooks up here. Behind this door, we have our shower and a mirror also inside the shower. Uh, some hooks to hang our clothes. And on this side, we just have the toilet and a bag over there to throw rubbish in. Alright guys, that brings us to the end of this SNU dorm room tour. I really hope you guys enjoyed it and got to have a peek into what a Korean university dorm looks like. I'm really, really grateful that I got into this building. Even though it's not the newest dormitory building, I really like the living arrangements and think that it's really convenient. I think I've run out of things to say now, so this brings our video to an end. I really, really do hope you guys enjoyed the room tour, even though I feel like I did ramble on a bit too long. So please excuse me on that. As always, thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye! <laughs>